Yeah, like charges and pops. That, that's two insane nodes already. And, is it? And the rest are kind of mediocre. Yes, I think that, I think this. Charges is so anti synergy with fucking bleed though. Yeah, <sighs> that's something I hate about how how it works mechanically. Like the the power is really good, but like you have these a stance aura, and they don't work. Oh with yeah, bleed. like the stance auras are dog shit. So like, if, if the stance auras were better, it wouldn't feel as bad. Or if that's if the like, way you got charges was different, there's definitely a lot, a lot of things they could do, do to improve. But like, I think bleed is so dog shit, and then snipe is so OP. It's really weird. Yep, snipe is OP. You know, it'd be really sick on a four stone, eh? I think it actually might be like kind of kind of decent, but I have never played it before and don't want to. I don't want to have to make a weapon. Is the biggest thing. I'm actually trying to go fast. But the bleed weapon is deterministic, right? It's just granite flask recipe. So no bow. Uh, you can go that that week. Just granite flask, regal, craft, and go. And my last one was like 600 PDPS bow that I finished with, like when I was doing the two stones. The build sucked because it has no defenses, but. Yeah, I mean, you're like a slayer, right? Or not slayer. I was glad. A duelist, a shitty duelist. Yeah. I mean, it has like some max shows, it has some armor, but I don't think you can fit it in grace because you kind of have to go haste. Yeah. You know, the last run I did, though, um, I just did Parasyphon all the way through, and it was like pretty good. I think like No Determ kind of felt like really nice for a right side build now. Yeah, Trickster can for sure do it. And I mean, Maybe it'll be even better next patch. <laughs> yeah, so cool. Maybe. I think defense gets nerfed next patch. I think oh, that's like a relative. Like they're gonna nerf the auras, but like Trickster doesn't have reliant on them. Yeah. Oh. Mm, I wonder what discipline's gonna get, like change wise, if it gets anything. Because I kind of like that. <laughs> I don't think they, they they know it exists. I think discipline is long forgotten. Bro. It's it's just D term grace are like the, the you know the two really popular ones. I don't like what they did to term though, because I feel like you know when you plug and play to term on an elementalist or like, <clears throat> and you have like four K armor and T sixteens. It's like I, I'm looking at five six three five armor is on the pop right now. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, you know, it's kind of bad. It's over. It's it's because that fucking that drama we had, man. That one league start where Tarky was like purity of elements better than termination. And then everyone disagreed and made fun of him for a bit. And then now I think Grinding Your Games thinks that like baseline to term is super OP. But it's kind of shit. I mean, he's right. Just have a triple conversion watcher on. Like, duh. Mm. Did we get one of those on HD this league? I didn't see a triple. Yeah. There were I, a few really good doubles. I had a triple with Purity of Ice back in Tota, I think. That was the only one I saw the whole time in HD. It's good. I don't know. Okay, on, on the wish list side, what else do you have? Uh, I think you, you gotta throw one up. Give me a second thing. What? You cut out, man. Wait, I gotta throw one up? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I don't hear you. Wish list side. I mean, I want the assassin thing. I already asked. You just want the assassin node from Ruthless and base game? Really want because I fucking I'm tired of playing extra cool fate. Ever since Quantric introduced it to my life, it has ruined me. Yeah, yeah. they're fucking disgusting boots. Don't use. Them. They're so good. They're so fucking good. Okay, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna go for what I actually want, which is um. I want to see a poison nerf. I'm like really tired Another of poison being so fucking strong. It's it's still strong, man. Like. What, what do Maybe you think it's just of, like, duration, damage, temp chain, wither? I mean, the thing that would make most sense to me is just temp chains not applying to poison, probably. Like, that's always been kind of weird to me. I get it. It makes sense, I guess. But they could just change how that interaction is. I don't know about wither. I kind of like wither, because, like, fasting and poison is already, like, low toll, but it's strong. is like, really fucking strong. And I think it's still pretty good. And like chaos dots dog shit, chaos hit builds are only good with like original sin, so probably yeah. don't want to nerf wither. Yeah. Well, I mean, Lance almost killed um Maven, I think, with his chaos dot trickster. It was pretty fast prog time. 90, 90 oh, I mean, 70 hours? What was it? 90 hours? Honestly, yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised if chaos dot and cold like wasn't that bad for, for rushing it. 
Pops are OP. I don't know. POV. I'm, I'm doing cold out pop right now because, like, I think I'm going to try to run that through tomorrow because, like, the QOL side of it, of, like, having, like, literally chill, freeze, stun immune on a ascendancy by itself is, like, disgusting. I don't know about playing Chaos Top for Rush, but. Because, like, yeah, I don't know I if you can channel play. problem is just the bosses. Like, the. Uh, well, when I was doing it, I didn't do uh, play. I did a uh, Bane, Soul Rend, Essence Strain. Of soul rend essence stream, bro. How do you do damage with that? I'm just thinking about the numbers there. That's like actually dog shit, isn't it? Soul rend's damage is fucking high. Uh, is it? It's really high. But I mean, it's like I think it's got I did, like, like cold dog damage, bombing. man. It has two point six k. Yeah, and wither. Gotta, gotta remember you have Wither on Chaos, but yeah, I mean, oh, it, obviously shit. it's not, it's not Ignite, it's not Poison, it's, it's very, very similar to Cold Dot, but it has, like, pops and stuff. Like, when I played it, it felt, like, so insane early mapping, like, like, you know, white and yellows, and then, like, you know, you can't kill tanky things at all in reds. Wait, did you play Contagion with that setup or not? It was Bane. Just, oh, you could, and then where are the pops? Oh, Bane, Bane. Bane a call yo, wait! I think I figured it out, dude. You just you just steal subtracting bills every league, man. What the <laughs> Fire Trap Elementalist Bane Occultist? What? Yeah, the, the, the problem is you you like have about 70 points to spend and then you don't have any more points. And you the toxic rain problem. Yeah. But that's fine because you're not gonna hit level like 80 anyways. You're just rushing the boss. I'm pretty sure you hit 91, like minimum. On on the force stone, for sure. 100 percent Thank you. I, I didn't take a single XP thing. I didn't take Genometry or anything. And then I only, like, I went, I rushed bonus on whites and yellows. And then I just, like, had to run three ten ways, two formed. And that took me to 92 and a half. I think that's, like, probably reasonable as far as splinters go. Unless you can, like, actually alk your invites and, like, take that risk. But I don't even think that's worth it. Like, maybe. <laughs> Okay, you know what's the next one? I, I'm gonna write a lot. I'm gonna put it somewhere else on the bingo board, but the number one nerf that I want, actually, outside of corpses, I want Bone Shard to get nerfed, man. I fucking hate that skill. You're crazy. What do you mean? Bone Shard? Maybe I mean, like, you melee hate Karn. I don't hate Karn. Do you remember? Yeah, I, I love Karn. Congrats, man. I'm reporting it. What? Hey, do you remember the only time that you've killed all the Ubers under 24 hours was with, well, I guess Special Throw, but... No, it was Bone Shard, wasn't it? What? Is that one league that, like, no one gave a shit? They did a weird race, and the the prize was like a... Did you ever get that tapestry? It was like a, 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 a painting or something, right? Was the, the first place prize. Uh, I I have, a, like, a... I have something. It, it's in, like, a fucking container still. But I'm pretty sure uh, I have something like that. Yeah, that, that race. That race. I think yeah, we was, all it, watched it was, like, you. all the XL got merged or some shit. I, that was DD. The only time I've ever done sub-24 was DD. Oh. I swear to God, I saw you. Night, what was the fucking bone shatter? And then you did like the thirty-minute spectral throw, awakener. That was a helix run. That was three nineteen. That was just champ helix, the alk build. Okay, wow. No, maybe I just mean melee nerf, dude. I'm tired. Of delete that. champ. Delete helix. And the dog shit's good. Delete helix. I don't think delete helix can fit on this board, dude. That's never gonna happen. <laughs> Ever. Serious. It's so weak. Yeah, wait. I'll look for inspo, dude. I got you. One thing I've wanted for a long time is glancing blows to not be cringe. But I feel oh, like wow. suppression being created kind of removed that possibility. I, I feel like what I wanted glancing to be was kind of like what suppression is. But there's too many mechanics that make it impossible to do that. Like, if you, like, you, you ever been on a Templar and been like, I'm gonna spec glancing for defense? We need to do an RDM with Aegis or some shit? Well, we used to play around the shield. I remember Expedition, I, like, the first time I ever played HC, I tried to craft, like, the the 5% shield with glancing. I think that was, that was pre-glancing nerf, right? It might have been. Yeah, like, before it got nerfed, it was, it was a pretty solid point to take, but ever since the nerf, it's just, like, it's just hopeless. I like that one. Glancing blows, de cringe. 
That's the cringe. Buff. No, I'll write buff. I don't think D cringe is acceptable. Whoa. Dude, I, I'm on Reddit. It's absurd. What the fuck? Someone's calling for Hierophant nerfs. And Impale nerf. What What the hell? Is this a real board? I, I think they just wrote nerf and buff and then hit like a randomizer for the word that was before. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay, here. Let me try again. Let me try again. He's 17 buffs in... What? Uh, what? <laughs> Sir? I'm getting three names once a day. What do you mean buffs? I think that means stronger monsters, yeah? Because uh, the meat sacks yeah. weren't tanky enough. Yeah, uh, that must be. Oh, I want Spellsinger to get reworked. Yes, dude, Spellsinger to... I mean, how would they even do that? Would they have to, like, not reserve? I'll, sh I'll show you how they can do that. Where's my fucking... I think it add in a unique for Spellsinger. It's probably not the best way to do it, but, uh... I showed you my unique Tarishi, right? You mean like the Herald chest where it's like cap preservation for the Heralds? Kind of like that, but um, I don't know if you can see this right now. I don't know what you're doing right now, but. I'm just happy to share my best. Okay. It's called Aura Ring Thing, dude. Aura Ring Thing. That's what I submitted at the time. And I got. I, I, first of all, it's insane, by the way, that this got rejected and Nimus got added. Like, that is. Especially with I, release Nimus. I wonder why they rejected this. Um, they said something about, I get it, actually the reason it makes a lot of sense, it's like design space, right? It's like, there was a recognition that auras were too strong, and probably still are, but it's like, if this gets in the game, then like, can you really buff heralds, or buff arctic armor, things like that, Yeah, right? makes sense. But, have they thought about the fact that, if Nimbus exists, can you ever buff projectiles? <laughs> Nimbus isn't even that OP, it's pretty real, I mean, it's, it's fine. Yeah, do you remember, dude, fireball okay. shotgunning was... The first time I pressed Fireball was like the most insane thing in the world, dude. I had like my tooltip DPS and POB. My POB hit base DPS was 40, 400,000. And then I one shot Maven. Yeah. Like it, literally it, pressed it, wasn't it one fine time. when every proj ended where it started. But now that they continue through you, in most cases, I think it's like, it's like fine. Yes, that's only double damage, right? Well, it's not most thing. Yeah, I winner is. Oh, speaking of, okay. Blast Siphoner. Is it good for the game? Blast Siphoner should have an air horn tied to it that just like loops repeatedly. <laughs> okay, Blast Siphoner. Sound effect. Visual yes. clarity. Let's say clarity. Visual. Visual. I've, I don't know if this one matters for anyone except for like fucking hardcore Dell like, who gives a shit. Yeah, but it's like super limiting, you know, because that is what you die to. Like, it's, it's, I died to it twice, man. I'm like, tired of it. I mean, I'm dying at like depth 600, but it's different. Ah, uh, um, Ryuichi one week ban. Ryuichi yeah. ban, well, here or should, no? I think, I think that, 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 that should go in the middle, right? I mean, come on. It's Ryu. Ryu two plus <laughs> one week. I want both to. I think I just want a lot of things nerfed, man. I think I'm getting fucked up. I think redditors probably see this and go like, "Oh my god, dude, the game's hard enough already." I gotta look at the other side. I have to be um more positive. It, it really just depends on like like the, the version of the game you're playing, like T like, seventeen wise and stuff. Trade, yeah. Like if, if you're doing seventeen and you're doing like some non meta shit, like it's insanely hard. If you're in trade and you're like doing it and you're like you know, using your brain and optimizing it, it's really easy. And it, I don't know, it's, it's kind of... I, I feel but, like the peak power of, like, really optimized builds is just, like, so, so far gone. This is the league, dude. I have an armor stacker, finally. I'm gonna, like, snipe out the voices immediately. I'm gonna pro I might just make a sim farmer and just sit there the whole league, you know? Because, like, don't, who else is gonna be doing that? Before you do that, do the math on the amount of hours per voices one. It's, I think it's one or two hundred. Add a zero. It's one in two thousand. I I think it was six hundred hours of some farming or some shit. It was all it was a massive number. It, it was like sixteen hours a day. It was like a month average of shit. It was a huge number. Reddit says one out of two hundred voices are one. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. 
one out of every 200 voices is a one pass of voices, and you get a voices every five sims. So it's one every one per 1,000 sims. I could do that, man. Yeah, at like what, two per hour? 3,000 simulacrums? Yeah, yeah. I'm chilling. Sure. Wait, hold on. Yeah, so 3, this is why I was trying to brainstorm ways to fully, uh, like fully AFK sims where like you just you tabbed over, clicked the start button, and then tabbed over. But I don't think it's possible because they always have uh, monsters in them that just like don't spawn if you don't walk near them. <laughs> oh no! No! Two point five. What's that say? Consecutive days of gameplay in simulacrum. <laughs> but if you're <laughs> if you're try boxing it. Okay, true. Should I get it done like the first month of the league, man? I'm chilling. Wait, that's just for three. I think I need like four or five. I think some of the better builds that I've seen only use three. Oh damn. <laughs> no, okay. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna wait for patch notes to drop because Armor Sacker's probably gonna nerf next patch anyway, right? With like, maybe they're, re they're doing something to defense right now. Like that part's really obvious. Yeah, like w what have we seen? Higher base values, higher life rolls, qualities multiplicative. Yeah, it just seems like they. they, they this is like two years ago or three years ago. They said something along the lines like, "No, it's about two years ago." But they said like, they want it so you're getting more like defenses from just items, less from like. Skills less from yep. the tree as well. So I want to. Um, I think they're alluding to it with a totem thing. I think everyone's hoping for the same thing, but it's like the uh, nerf remove spell suppression remove. Really? I think sir, it's kind of the same. I would like the game to be balanced around no suppression, but... And I miss the days of spell dodge more. I mean, dodge was kind of... Probably kind of that bad for the game, if you just think about the actual value you got for the like, those five points. Like, it was, it was so much yeah, value. Quick and acro, yeah. And I had to do it. But, like, what suppression has done to gearing is just atrocious. I hate it. But isn't it more ridiculous thing about, like... How hard will it fucking be to, like, walk into any of the fights with the no suppress right now? It's like... Yeah, that's the thing. Chilling. Like removing it would require rebalancing pretty much every single thing they've created since they created it. Yeah, but which is that was always bound to happen. Like as soon as they design suppression, everything new is like, oh look at that, it does double damage. Fucking Act One ghosts explode for four thousand, like just the, the dumbest <laughs> shit ever. But like, I, if they want armor to you know come from your gear. I'm sure they, they they would want you to just not get suppression, but that's not how the game works. It's in the game. You have to use it if you want your build to be as strong as possible. So you're never going to wear like pure armor bases. They could still rework it, I guess. Like, I mean, if, <laughs> no, there's so much rebalancing that needs to be done. And there's no left side equivalent of suppression other than like being a juggernaut, right? I mean, a, a huge problem with it is just because like they wanted it to be clearly different than Resist. So they made it like a chance system instead of just damage reduction. But if you didn't have to be capped to get some guaranteed value from it, it would feel a lot better, I think. Yeah, but then it'd be like much more powerful at lower values. And then like <clears throat> you know, some builds become way stronger, like way too quick, probably. Like anything left sided, like it's like a little bit suppressed or like yeah. I don't know. Like I think we're all thinking from HD lens, right? Because in soft core it's like fuck it, man. Suppressed lucky with I mean, in soft core. <laughs> it's in soft core it has just one shot it from off screen and we're ahead of through. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> like, deep as the fucking matter. I want, I want, um, I want them to, I guess this is a me problem, it's a skill issue, but I want them to make it so that I don't want to click Eldritch Battery on every single top side tree right now. That's just a Divine Blessing change, right? I think that, that's the core reason why you always go EB, is Divine Blessing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Divine Blessing cannot yes. Yeah. But the problem is like do, doing like that's basically just a giant global nerf to like 90% of characters. Because th there wouldn't be any like com competition to that, right? 
Um, I've been thinking more about it. Like, with the last build I played was no D. I could have gone, like, EBMOM on the last character. Uh, but I decided not to. I felt, like, good in a lot of ways. I think as long as flat auras or flat reservation isn't really present in the game, then things like DB are really strong. Yeah. Unlike, I, mean, you know, I feel like various. I feel like DB was it kind of was just like a failure because it, the purpose of it was for, for like builds that can't reserve. Like that was the idea. It was like it's like an archmage thing, and then it's just like every build in the game used to. Yeah, <laughs> but then why have two? You know, like I, I guess because like in the sense of like. DB can be used to, like, if you play, like, three small auras, like Clarity, Arrogance, or whatever, Clarity, Vitality, and, you know, whatever, and then also run Divine Blessing. And then Eternal Blessings for, like, the pure. But, I don't know. I think I they're think... both shit. Like, Design-wise, not, not power-wise. I mean, for, for actual, like, mana builds, the way Eternal Blessing works, right, is, like, you can't use, like, Clarity plus D-Term, right? If you're using Eternal. Yeah. But, like, with Divine, you could, for, for like, an Archmage build. Like, that was kind of how I, I thought that gem was supposed to be used, and then it just, like, lol wiped up into EV. Yeah. But we've, we've, we've had it for so long that, like, everyone's used to it. But it, it, You say also, that? every build that I've popped recently is, like, so fucked on gem sockets, man. Yeah, th I think mean, there's a gem socket issue, but, like, most people just don't put it on in their league starters. Sorry, maybe the, not the POBs you're looking at, but the, when I look through, like, the YouTube builds and stuff, like... I think most people don't know that Eldritch Battery even exists. I swear to God. So I don't think it's as popular as you think as like we we might think it is, but it's something strong. And socket wise, it's like it's cause you're playing two button builds. If you're PO being detonate dead like eight times, then what? Like the fuck are you else you PO being? Ice Mage Arcanova. There's Detonate Dead Ignite, then there's like Flame Blast Ignite, it's like with the Conviction Ignite and like uh, Flame Blast Ignite could be like lower ignite. socket pressure later, right? Once you get like exposure automatic. How's Archmage for you? Archmage? I haven't I didn't actually try it this week at all. I, I still just don't like the defense of it. I, I think Mana Forge there is though probably needs to get to uh, should be changed a little bit. Yeah, that guy's the Connor is actually making like it's like it's getting a little better too. Like, the way he does his progression. Not a guy. Oh, I like to see him yeah, it's, shit. It's just like Manaforged Arrows it just has a nice amount of like built in 4,000% more damage multiplier. It's like, you know, maybe that's a little weird. Is it okay when there's no Indigon? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know enough about, about Mana Stones and know if it's another way to scale cost effect other than the Indigon. I, th I think it requires the combo. Yeah, I think but, like, like the it's combo okay is without game breaking. it. I'm thinking about like when did I play without it? Wait, wait. Actually. Wait, was I? Oh yeah, no, that was definitely Nagano as well. Cause I played again this patch. I don't know. I think Mana Forge like bows is kind of weak, man. Like not not like weak as in these buffs, but when I was looking back at Havoc's uh like Dead Eye runs, when he's playing a lot of Mana Forge, like half the time it doesn't even target the boss. Cause the targeting range on that shit is actually tiny. It's pretty mediocre when it's being used for its intended purpose. It's just like you know that combination kind of is insane. Yeah. What about for Mana Forge cock, dude? How come never Bocock? Can't jump shield charge. Just get 300 move speed. Yep. <laughs> like, what, what, once you have mage, but you can kind of do whatever you want. How do you, what about tides? It's kind of like. Tides? Yeah. Hmm. I haven't played with it, like, at all. The fact that it scales are for Genesis and oh, I think like oh, okay. What about this elemental shift next patch? You mean like, like Dawnbreaker? Things like Dawnbreaker, yeah. But like fucking fizzaz yeah. on everywhere. Like I think it might get adjusted if they're adjusting all the armor and everything. I wouldn't be surprised if they change it in some way. I I feel like if they do change it, it's going to be like small nerfs just to make it harder to cap. Mm. It's. You know, it's it's probably maybe you shouldn't be able to get 100 percent and just be invulnerable to fizz damage. Maybe like that's too... 90 or something. It's hard to though. It's not like free. I guess it's kind of free when you're playing taste, but like, I guess coil. Yeah, Actually, it, everything is free. It, it, it's a pretty big effort. Right? I think coil should probably be T one, but like in in the end, does that really matter if they, if they make that change? It just means it's like less corruptions, but 
and I'm tired of I don't I'm not a big fan of like nerf making things more rare to like nerf it like it's it's not like yeah, I mean it fucks over self found yeah and it fucks for racist too because we have this is it's gonna be easy gone this time right like easier I mean. Last Even one was Q3, kind of nice. it kind of, it, The time frame matters. If it's like a full weeklong race, you'll for sure get things like Coil, but like, if you're going for like a day two clear or some shit, like, I wouldn't even include Coil. In also, Coil kind of sucks for bossing. Yeah. Yeah. The fucking Fizz Dot shit is like so painful too, man. I was running through Awakener and stuff on that. No recovery build. Even now, like, PF, I felt like my recovery was super fucked on my cremation build this league. Like, I ended up dying to... I died to a 1% unconverted bleed, I think, at the start. Aren't you a Pathfinder? Yeah, I just, like, didn't finish building it before I started doing... Faldos, I guess? I just didn't feel like it. And then, uh, I got hit with, like, the tiniest bleed, I thought, but it was, like, actually massive, because... Fizz dot. Bleeds are bad. Stackers. I don't want to keep bringing nerves, man. All the stack. Uh, I was reading this post recently. There's like some fucking player, some like LE player, like D4 player, or, whatever, or I think it's a Torchlight player. I'm like, oh yeah, they don't like how PoE, like in the end game, everything is just like stackers are the most OP. Like power, like charge stacker, in stacker, strength stacker, all that shit. But, like, I don't even know that's true. But I think the power, the whole I, like Rally Cash setup is too strong for me. I, I feel like they're usually not very good builds, but it's a really easy way to get builds that are good enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. The fucking floor for that shit is so high. And it's cheap, too. And then when we have, like, meat sacks, good god. I mean, like, you can always include the standard buff that's on every single one of these where it's, like, you know, actually numerically buff skills that are just undertuned, but they don't do that anymore, so <laughs> I don't know if there's a reason to ask for it. Undertuned skills. Yo, they really sh they they did though. They they like the what else was the cleave buff? I know we meme on it, but like what else is that buff supposed to be? Which cleave buff? The fucking radius one, man. What do you mean? Oh yeah, I mean that 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 was just that was just a. I don't fucking know. It was a bit just symbolic. Okay, adorned. Removed. Adorned. Sub 100. No. Not my adorned. Same. Please, no. You like adorned? The adorned adds so much extra time. You can grind upgrades and trade league. Dude, pushing for rank 1 arena adds so much extra time to the amount of League of Legends we could play. But doesn't I add agree, richness. Do uh, okay. It's not ideal that like all of the upgrades from Endgame just come from Bestiary. Yeah, that that, that kind of sucks. But like Adorn min maxing, like genuinely is yeah, it was fun. I enjoyed it. It probably shouldn't work on a, on set deposits though, or or corruption deposits. Probably shouldn't. That part is like I don't know. I I think it's okay to have a super high ceiling. I just think like. I mean, my vision for Adorn was like, I thought that when I saw it, it'd be good for things that have very few ways to scale, you know, like Righteous Fire or some shit. But like the fact that like Spellcaster multi builds, like crit Spellcasters that can scale like spell damage, you know, proj count, crit chance, crit multi, like cast speed, whatever the fuck, still want to go for Adorn. I think it's like numerically too strong if that's happening. Or they can just remove Beastcrafting. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> numerically it is really insane but also it's one of those things where it's really insane at absurd budget like like the enemy of my character every jewel was like oh, close to 100, 100 divines like every single jewel was so, you know, it's like things probably can be good when they're that expensive yeah I guess armor stacker doesn't go adorned so okay, I'm gonna go for the alternative then which is bench added to crafting bench Menagerie, Crabbage. Or something like that. Just the QL there. I'm like watching like Captain Lance and like fucking Sushi in the later half of each league because, you know, it's like month 1.5 and people are like chilling out. And all I see is those two sitting inside Beastiary all day and I'm like, it's, this is like not really gameplay, but it is. This league was the first league where I like reached out that, that, that kind of crafting where I actually spent like, like a full week just farming beasts and doing beast stuff and 
it's good that it exists, but all those things being locked into one system, it's kind of. They like tried to move a couple, like when um, what are those things called, like locks. But, like those are like a little strong, I think. I mean, it's not like a kind of catch all for everything, right? Unicorn uh, locks. Yeah. Yeah, that should be added to the game. It's weird. I don't, I don't get it, but it's here. It's not going there. Definitely gotta find some, find some more buff angles. There's one thing that I, I really wish they would do, but it's like, it's hard to fit into one bingo square. You, you notice the problem where like if you don't use the mechanics in the like the early game, you just don't have enough currency to like play the game at all. Like, roll maps and shit, run alchemy wars. Yeah. Yeah, you can't roll your maps. You can't like fucking fix your sockets. You can't do like anything. I guess the no reason you, why I'm just like certain mechanics. Yeah, I want to make the the race in Necronopolis just like for the two reasons. One's like attack based builds are better, like possibly competitive, and the other one was like, I was running through and I like ran out of Alex again, and I was like, yeah, the all flame shit is like really nice, but that's why they like the the opt in. I'm not sure what the fix would be though. You know, it would be like a total like redesign of how currency works basically. How the jobs work, I believe. I think okay. If they, because like a lot of league mechanics still give gumball, right? But I think some of the league mechanics, like I would never touch them too early because they like are so scary to do. Like early game legion, early game breach, like especially when I'm on a low armor fucking champ in legion, it, it just like absolutely fucks you. But it, there's a lot of gumball there. Thank you for the sub. You just run them. Thanks for the sub, dude. What do you mean? Plus two weeks. And by delete, I mean cap solutors damage reduction at like fifty percent. They're not. They're not just solute. They just they just adjust the solutor too. They're not gonna do it again. It's still fucking dog shit. I think that. I mean, I don't disagree with you, but uh, yeah, we're jumping to call, bro. Wait, wait, what's the last one? Is the currency adjustment thing? I don't know. I think like they have a lot of league mechanics in the game. I think they just see that as the crutch, dude. I think they just see that. Yeah, like, I mean, that's just gonna be what it is. There is like five different variants that exist now. I, I still, that's one thing that I really just, I, I still bitch about for Archon all the time. It's just like the difference in like monster defense between like a normal rare and one that just happened to roll like the wrong two modifiers is 50x more HP. Like that that's such an insane number to me. And it's real crit resistant, so we, like the last two like fucking bastions of of misery. Yeah, but you'll get monkey pod if you're trying to adjust that, like for sure. You'll get uh, what? Monkey pod. Like like if you're like, oh I want <laughs> rares to be more consistent. It's like, okay, now every rare is twenty five times tankier, like they're all massive. What do you mean plus one week? It's plus three now, dude. It's plus three. What's up, bro? Oh shit, dude! I forgot to change my. Oh, never mind. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, what's dude? Up? Oh man, what do you what want you for next doing? league, dude? What's on the wish list for you? Number one. Wish list? Yeah, yeah. Because, because, like, I figure if we make this board and we send it in, it's it's like uh, they gotta they gotta respect um the most toxic voices in Poe. I mean, the most respected build makers in Poe. What? What do you actually I don't want? Know what do you if want, I have dude? A uh i don't want another four month league that's for sure hey man yeah it's already here uh, it's gonna be five months dude you can't say it that way okay rude <laughs> phrasing uh uh i don't know let me see what you guys have on the list t17 rework that's that's for sure needed i don't think the t17s need a rework the mods need a rework right yeah, I, I don't even like I don't like farming T seventeens. I think, like I don't I don't like any of the T seventeen farm shots that much, and I like don't like gating Ubers behind it. So I wouldn't even mind if it was like white content, you know, where it's more like, you know, what you're getting into every single time you chop one. But I may be alone that because like the back to basic stuff is like super fucked up, and like, in the same way that like rare monsters are super multiplicative, like fifty times harder, like a T seventeen. Well rolled is literally hundreds of times harder than an average C16, right? 
what I thought they should have done for T17s was make all the T16 mods and T17s for Ubers. So like T17s are just like those maps, but with T16 map modifiers. And then they could make T18s after for the, the Giga Juice for all those back to basic mods. They shouldn't be like T17 shouldn't be like, it's okay for the Ubers to be gated behind them, but not with those mods. If they wanted to make mods that hard with that much juice, with all these super mega quant, they should have made like the map tier after for the Ubers, I think. It's like, what if they just moved it around? Like, gotta be like, you get like Uber drops from like, I mean, people don't like the fucking boss drop from boss drop thing, but what if like T17s just dropped from Uber bosses instead? Like, like literally just shifted it. I mean, then what are you gonna do? You're gonna, you're gonna make. T16s drop Uber frags? That doesn't make sense either. What if the bosses just You have to understand Uber why frags? they made it, right? Like, why can't Maven because just T6... drop Uber Maven? Because T16s it, were supposed to drop... Would <laughs> I would hate yeah. that. You're fighting, like, fucking normal Shaper five times if I Uber Shaper one. Like, no, that would no, be the most mind thing ever. <laughs> okay, yeah. well, hear me out. What I if think... what if Shaper got reworked as well, dude? Holy fuck. Yes. Yeah. how about we just remove the concept of Uber? That should have been the just baseline updates. Do, do That's what I said. Dude, everyone said yeah. that that was a toxic elitist mentality, and I totally agree. And they're bad. Ben, I don't even think you understand what ninety nine percent of these these guys are like on a fucking YouTube site taking someone's POB, trying to copy it and failing. They're trying to like it's like copying your chemistry homework and fucking yep. marking the wrong answer, bro. That, that's fine. Failing is okay. You, you know what happened the first couple times? Like, I tried to fight Uber Theory, your fucking any hard boss back before, like, Spreshman was in the game. I failed. I fucking died. And that was good, because then you learn. You learn? I don't know if these guys learn. Do you remember the first time Ritu fought Uber Maven? Did you watch that, man? No, I did not. I was I was already done for that league at the time, because it was during, like, uh, 3.17, right? Or, like, Sentinel. I was, like, chilling out, hanging out. It was 1.8. And I think Rutu had to fight Uber Maven 15 times before he got his first Uber Maven kill. <laughs> and he's playing a dot based build. They're playing fucking Fizz dot champ, Dude. you know? And he was like <laughs> it was fully hard, geared. Okay. Listen, listen, listen. My build was like nine none of us knew what she had, right? So I just played like whatever build I had. It was 90 res, so it got fucked up by all her pen, right? And it had RF. And so every single time I hit a line, I would just die. It yeah, that's not, like, like a skill issue, bro. <laughs> That sounds like a dog shit build, and it was hard. <laughs> Tell me, how'd you feel when you won? I, I didn't. I didn't really care. That was the only fight that was kind of hard for Ubers for for that build. Every all the other ones, I kind of just destroyed. Really? And they also made me do it on a five link, because I said I would. I mean, that's only like thirty four percent of damage, right? Maybe maybe fifty max. Your supports are like insane. I don't know. I'm not saying it's like. I don't think it's like that rewarding. I think like a way that, the way PoE players are mentally is like it's not about overcoming challenges or anything like that, man. I think people are soft. They're just like uh, they just want to win. They just want to win, you know. No losing. I think like I coming know, back. I think to the, the plague, idea of T seventeen was good. I think the execution was just whatever. Yeah, I think that might be the freebie in a sense. They're they're gonna change something if they, if they leave it the same way. It'd be like. <laughs> fucking barrel farming and shit. God damn. Yeah, the barrel hits real bad. But also what's terrible is the the uh revenants in T seventeens. We can't get rid of them anymore with, with all flames and they're so bullshit. Yeah, the AOE. They're, they're that fixing that for massive, sure. There's bro. no way they're letting that shit stay in the game. That's it's staying. Bro, I think I think I had like a hundred deaths in T seventeens and ninety nine of them were to revenants. Like no joke. <laughs> They're fucking insane, yep. man. Have, have you ever had like a super dense map with Brutus and your character just like teleports and glitches and do things <laughs> in like four different directions? I was watching you do like maps like that where, like while I was fucking playing, man. Oh my god. Uh, they are never changing that shit. I think like they don't give a shit about the jankiness. Stitchens, it might happen, but. You think if they're gonna bring back like one of the core leagues between like Toto or Wildwood? Do you think either of those come back? I don't think Wildwood. 
They never put I mean, a wild wood back in the game ever again, I don't think. Hopefully tattoos actually go go properly for I think they're going to because like they did a bunch of balance changes to them and then put them on, you know, the all flames. I think they're they're gonna go core. Yeah. Tattoos go core. Okay, I have two uh, two two big ones. Okay. Two, it's like sorry, two two like generalist ones. The first is eight scarab slots. Oh shit, I didn't realize you put the the delete no, no, normal bosses on, on the board. Yeah, dude, fuck that. <laughs> like I, I firmly like believe that, but also that's gonna get flames so hard, I love it. I don't care. Listen, I'm gonna get bullied regardless, dude. If I want to get bullied, oh, no, I want it for being an elitist. Amen, what? brother. That's, that's, guys. I mean, the, I'm reading this board. Does Blad, a Bleed, or Glad actually need a rework? I mean, Glad does. Does Bleed? There's bleed some pretty decent Bleed pretty stuff. Shit. Have you tried Bone Shatter of Complex Trauma Bleed? It's actually, it. Shut the it's, fuck up. it's actually pretty decent because it's going to take the maximum trauma when you hit them 10 times, right? When you cycle through, or you could just set your character to like always be at like 10. And then you're just doing like giga bleed damage. Wait, it's actually like... I mean... <laughs> yeah, the, I'll the, show you a the, the numbers seemed fine. Did you play it or did you just put it in POV? You put it in POV. Yeah, bleed often can seem kind of decent in POV, and then you play it, and it feels like the most dog shit thing ever. When I was playing, I, mean, Smite, I also played bleed last league with bows. It was like I think, I think bow is fine. It's like a pretty generic build. It doesn't. Yo, it doesn't it's lane. like not it's great, fun, but man. it's not complete <laughs> shit either. It's just like I don't know. Do, do you know when you put volatility Smite on a snipe build? build? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It gets kind of criminal. Oh, if, you use, if, you use, if you use the bell and volatility, your yeah. bottom end is like 1% of the damage of your top end. It's so <laughs> fucking brutal. Yeah, dude. Poison I, definitely doesn't need a nerf. What? That shit dude, is caca. I had a dot capped bleed build, and then I changed my configs to be like, what is your average damage when you press snipe? And it was 3 million. With a 35 <laughs> million max dot. Yeah, you, you had to put in the proper attacks for it. It does root you with snipe. It's fucked, bro. It, yeah. it ain't right. Because it's it's taking it's taking like your maximum bleed roll like for the attack speed you have right and like everybody thinks they snipe once and they're gonna get that damage but it's it's counting that you snipe that many times and because of like the release and and hold up for snipe is all fucked up right when you're actually playing the game versus POV your damage on bleed it's always gonna be lower in game than actually in POV when you play snipe. Oh, have you guys it, tried doing the snipe mana thing before? You know what I'm about? Like the no. one stage snipe. Like you run out of mana and then you can only channel one stage and then you just like, it auto releases for you. You just no. like rapid fire skills? I've never tried it. I didn't, I didn't show you what it looks like. It's, um, I don't know if you guys are just immersive. Does it even do more damage? Yeah, it, like if you can theoretically, like if you just play it on POP or just like do the, just counter yourself, it's like, Two or three times better than playing like a bow skill, um, but it's like I don't know if you guys can see this. Oh, that no sounds like is. hell to set up, though. Yeah, you can just script it as well, but I would never condone that, obviously. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Wait, you can you can hear uh, it. One week for Ru. Uh, I Wait, get a week just for talking. If I did this, I'd be permed instantly. Wait, look at the speed difference in that part Wait, and the so start. Oh. Oh. Can you, tell the, can you, you know what it is? Is the there a difference? Too high for that it's like oh, yeah, twice as fast, yeah. Oh. Oh, I mean, okay, even if you get 100% attack speed, but you have to use like all of these oh mods God. to set it up or all of these gems or whatever, isn't Wait, the it's opportunity so cost like Holy pretty high shit. to do something like this? Wait, I think we. The opti cost can you have be to, like, zero. Mess with your mana a lot, right? And mana yeah, is yeah. Freaking... Like if you are able to just like get it conveniently set up, then like technically it's just like clean, you know. Yeah, but, but it's also server related. With your... If you mess with your mana like that, you always also mess with all your utility stuff, right? Life tap, mana forged. 
Uh, Person hit. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. But the scarab, dude. I, I want more scarab slots. That's what I was trying to say earlier. I want eight scarab slots, dude. Please. Support me on this. It does feel kind of weird that, especially if you're doing dip card or unique farming, like three out of your four slots are guaranteed to just be those mechanics. So you can't even like add things to your map. Feels yeah. Like but then you yeah. just back well, anyways, so who's adding anything at all? When we talked about this on my stream, I said the best solution is probably just add some like sort of recombinator uh, mechanic to scarabs so you can like combine them so you can get good I, use. I want to Ooh. explode just thinking about slapping <laughs> things into fucking recombinators before every map. <laughs> hey, that should have be dope, dude. Imagine having some like map with like 16 thousand harbingers because you just hit like fifteen thousand recombinators in a row and the whole map is just filled with shit or you just brick the whole entire thing i don't know man i think you could come you can like get some like really cool combinations and do some really cool juicing <laughs> stuff other than just how would storage work i have no idea because because the thing is like we have like a hundred unique scare a couple hundred unique scares some shit like that right now right if you add recoms, then every single let's just say you can only burge two. That's already like adding mm. I can't do math. A gajillion, you know? I mean, like you would recombinate these scarabs and use them right away, right? You wouldn't like recombinate you just put it in a tab and you're like, oh, I'm gonna do like 12 maps. I'll like get like 12 sets of these things and I'll just like put them in like a row and then just use them. It's not yeah. that big of a deal. I but think. you know what's gonna you happen is like, like people are gonna trade for it, like, oh yeah, like say there's a one in ten percent, like one in ten chance that you actually get like your God Harbinger diff card merge, you know, Scarab recommed. And then, like, next person wants to have that shit, and they go, like, oh, like, you know, I want to buy these. And you get people bitching about, like, you know, the trade site doesn't support it. And then you yeah, get people true. bitching about storage. It'd be, like, pretty, it'd be pretty help. I agree. <laughs> it'd be pretty bad. I don't what about know, just man. five slots plus one slot? Or, like, I think, like, adding a lot of slots but nerfing the power of Scarabs would make, like, maps much more fun to do right now. But then our Atlas is also too starved for it, you know? Especially with, like, Oh, that's what I think. I want never uh new league map not is, on Atlas Street ever again. Is mapping not fun? Ben, did you not have fun mapping last league? I thought mapping was pretty I fun. I had fun mapping. The, I, I clicked probably close to half a million chaos orbs this league, and that is dog shit. Did you say half a million? Probably. You know, I just made you it think up, you probably. 500,000 chaos orbs. I, mean, yeah, I did a lot. I, can see it. I, did a, I did a lot of those runs with... Uh, uh, what's that? That all flame that drops nothing but chaos. I did a lot no of those. No way! Too. You didn't manifest that's, it well. Would you ever run those? That, Yo. That's your own fault. <laughs> that's that's not that. Fun. Sell that to the poor. That's not for us, man. What the fuck, dude? I read two of those and they were both in SSF. You're out of your mind, man. Holy yeah, shit. I thought they were kind of fun. I was just sitting there, just chilling, watching some TV, clicking some chaos while watching some fucking sports. It was kind of dope. I don't know, man. It's definitely not for on stream content, but off stream, and you're just chilling. It's oh like you do God. a map instead of going in a trade site. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. So instead of trading like five mines, you just trade in like you just do one map and you get that same amount of chaos. It's like the if same you have of work. everything for it, if you have like the all flames set up too, like you're probably also consuming a bunch of shit. You know, just go do the trade. It's like 30 seconds. I oh, don't know. It's like, okay. <laughs> Okay, Glancing Blow definitely needs a buff, though. That shit is poo-poo. Yeah, scent items come from scent content. Nice. I have that on my nah. board, too. That one's way too out there. I feel like there's no way. I have one out that's out there, and then everyone told me I was crazy. Alright. I mean, we already think you're crazy. Just fucking... Send no, it. I'm what not crazy. It? Guys, am I crazy? I'm not crazy, right? Bro. I weeks. think because <laughs> they rework scarabs and there's like 500 scarabs, they should give the fragment tab to every single PoE player because it's literally a storage nightmare. Wait, that was your suggestion? Is that the suggestion? That, dude, it's not. Like, when, when fragment tab came out, it was a matter of convenience, right? Now it's more of a necessity than a convenience. Dude, there's like 5 billion scarabs. And I like, think... look at how many things that tab holds. 
you know when they say like one person has set back race relations by like a hundred years or like you know someone has set back fucking you know feminism by like a hundred years some shit i think manny has set back that agenda by like 10 leagues by doing a stupid fucking no stash all ubers run i like i think they'll just use that okay let's put it this way okay he did that you guys are both aware that he did that right do you remember how they nerfed what? spell slinger in 3.15 and they said yeah, that was your fault yeah <laughs> Did they just pick one random thing and they'll just fucking say like, you know what? Good enough, dude. We have evidence. It's too strong. Not gonna happen, dude. I can give you, um... No, I just don't think so. Dude, they made us all buy fucking 5 to 10 quad tabs just to play with this league mechanic, man. I have like 30 of them now, it's sick. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I have way too many. Same. Everyone says Abdor nerf. I just, I don't know. I get why you like it, Ben, but I just, I just can't. It's fucking. I hate when all the bows I mean, kind of look kind of homogenized. Like, bows don't use it, and like fucking armor stacker doesn't use it. I don't know. Sounds balanced to me. Here, I explained this the best I could when it came to Adorn. Adorn is good for the game because the passive tree is inherently imbalanced for like 99% of the builds out there. You have bow builds who have all their freaking nodes in one slot of the tree where they don't have to travel at all and just get all of this damage, right? Where like all of these other builds, they have to spread out all over the tree and travel to the fucking moon. And Adorn lets you skip that and lets you just like play whatever you want and travel in the same way as like as efficiently as possible, right? And I don't think bad placement on the tree should punish like all of these builds. Yeah. Like in the same way that clusters can count for like built like dot builds that are still have a lot of skill. Yeah. Yeah. If you think Adorn is bad, then you think clusters are bad because they're essentially the same thing. They do essentially the same thing. I think clusters are kind of cringe, dude. <laughs> I well actually let's put this I think clusters are oftentimes not that good. But then people like always you look at like the the third path of building link in some YouTube league starter, it always has like four cluster jewels and 69% increased life off tree. Insane. Fine, I'll leave that one. What about Veil Lord drop rate? I, isn't it like 33% now? I heard rumors of that. I got one in my chaos back. I, I mean, I, I would want to full betrayal, like just revert honestly. I fucking hate what they did to betrayal. But that's not happening. No, it's happening. Veil wants chaos revert. Yeah, what if it was like Veiled Chaos drops from um the safe houses, you know? Like in the same way Paradoxica does, and then Veiled Orb drops from Katarina. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it'd be fine. Like just Veiled Chaos Orb and Veiled Exalted Orb. Like, I, I feel like the only thing people wanted was when you do Ashing 4, a Veiled Exalted, Exalted Orb comes out of her chest. That's it. That's the only thing people wanted. And it's like, instead the entire fucking system got, got changed, and now it sucks bad. Fuck Betrayal. I mean, that's, like, the balance issue, right? Like, they just don't want that. I think, like, when they see something as, like, say, like, something's, like, not tradable to tradable, the change is, like, double the power. But if they change something yeah. from, like, tradable to, like, conveniently tradable, it's, like, times 100, you know? In terms of, like, access. It's just, like, I don't know. Oh, 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 what, yeah, was, the what was the thing? What was the thing? Sorry, sorry, what? But Veil mods were already really shitty of a crafting thing. Like, you had to, like, RNG the mod you wanted after Based. you rng something already. It's, like, multiple layers of RNG already. I don't know why they think it's, like, the most powerful thing in the world. For a normal player, like, to first have to RNG your Divine Orbs away and then try to RNG a mod, and if you don't hit it, like, seven times in a row, you're just, like, just blowing through all your currency, Right. I mean, the, the current pricing of, of the orbs is, is way too high. It's like 16 it was already really player. high for a lot of players before. You didn't think so? Like, to have to meta mod every single time? It, it did hit RNG. pretty high in softcore, I guess. It, it, in hardcore, it never went past, like, 1.5, like, the highest for old, old Ashen 4. Yeah, like, like, in you, softcore... You, you just self-farm it. Yeah, SE was, like, five divines already, plus your meta mod. Like, seven divines per try for one mod on, on like, one, you know... It's not guaranteed, right? It's, I, like, I a 50-50... it was fine, though, because of Veiled Chaos Orbs, right? Yeah. 
it, it, the there, cost there was, was always a cheaper. Yeah, I just think the cost was already high enough. I don't know why they wanted to like triple the cost of getting one mod on your on your item. It doesn't make sense at all. I mean, it, it probably was pretty like overused because even though it's expensive, it's also very often just the objectively best way to finish an item. Yeah, or so, even like middle of the item. Stuff. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. that's the fall of the crafting system by not giving us choices, right? Three thirteen harvest. Bring it back. Never right, again. No, fuck that. I'm not saying that, but but Sentinel was honest, good, man. If we had, Sentinel was fucking. If we sick. had three point. If we had three thirteen harvest with T seventeens as hard as they are, would it even be that like that bad? Be honest. You're out of your mind, bro. I, I don't think there's any level of gear that could make T17s okay. Yeah, that's like, exactly like, what I mean. I have T1 stats on all my gear. It's like the same shit right yeah. now. Every item that right. I'm wearing, I have exactly what I want on it, and it can't really get better in most cases. Yeah, it's like it's like we literally have harvest right now, but in, instead of like using a different sort of you know crafting method, we all just like use glorified chaos orbs to roll the mods we want, right? We make every single item the same. So we literally have old 3.13 harvest power. Yeah, but Graveyard just... is like temporary, right? Like there's no way next league is going to have that kind of shit. There's no fucking way. Graveyard's OP. It's like absurd. <laughs> like if we had, I don't know, it would have been actually a cool league to have like a long-term race in because seeing some of the shit that people would build, like, Wild World was cool because people MF for like T1 uniques, but having people set up like perfect characters would have been kind of sick. Gauntlet. Yo, actually speaking of the Veiled Orb thing, I saw someone like recommend, or suggest that like... It, it, when I first heard it, it was a bit out there, but it was the idea that mirrors can only be used once on an item. Or an item can only be mirrored one time. Ah, ah, that's never gonna happen. I, th I think that's what I like most about Adorned is the best things can't be mirrored. They're always corrupted. True. Well, it's just like, for, it's for anti like RMT, right? <laughs> I mean, the fucking HD RMT problem, like, why don't we just suggest that fucking elephant in the room, yeah? It's fucking cringe. Hardcore trade goes to Void League until the league ends. Yes, please. But, I mean, <laughs> that's such a... It, that affects, like, four people. Like, it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Well, it affects everyone else playing the game, too, because, like, the economy gets more fucked up, right? Or not the economy, but just access to the item. It's, like, it's just gone. I don't know. I think there should be something, like, R&T related, though. Like, that's just actually out of hand, man, for sure. And I'm tired of reading about whatever fucking drama every league. Veiled Orb didn't change shit, basically. You know? Why'd you put Bone Shatter nerf? Because he hates Karn. It's targeted harassment. That's, Here's how that's not it. cool, bro. How many leagues in a row has Karn said that Bone Shatter is the best build? Listen, listen. You know Karn went to uh, ExileCon, right? He made just as many c connections. So if you target Karn and he makes a phone call, you're getting a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had one for you here as well, dude. I got you. Um, fire trap. Oh, Frostlink turn. Perfect. Plus five weeks. What, what's wrong with Frostlink? Oh, I, I see. It got buffed, actually. Didn't it? Pretty sure I actually got like a numbers buff last patch, some shit like that. Yeah, what the hell? They got like a huge fucking buff for like no reason. For Ignite. Alright, fine. I'll remove Bone Shatter nerf. Okay, okay, I need to fill out these last cards. I, I think Bone Shatter is fucked up, honestly. I, I don't know. I Okay, I could either be Bone Shatter nerf or Melee nerf, but I think Melee is fucking broken. Every league I see Alkaiser just destroy the game on Melee for like the first. He, he like. Dude, Dude, in Sanctum Gauntlet, he didn't fail a Sanctum, I think. The whole the whole event. And he played fucking Bone Shatter. I level, like, put Thunder into Bone Shatter. Nerf Alkaiser. Nerf fucking. Alkaiser nerf. Alright, what are the last three? I want to fill these up, dude. I want good ones. I'm going to submit this. I'm going to be like, I'm going to beg. I'm going to beg for each, for at least half of these to be done. Yeah. I'm just going to beg every single day. Spam the DMs.
Three more, three more, three more. Five more. Chaos dot buff? No, no, no. I think that falls into the numerical buff category. Because, like, yeah. I think Chaos dot and Cold dot are both in that section where it's like their numbers just don't make sense, kind of. I think Cold dot could win. Their ass. Wintertide brand can use brand re. I just watched a video where a guy was explained how brand recall doubles Wintertide brand DPS, and I still don't understand, but must be OP. So now it's too Wait, it does? No way. It doesn't actually, I think. I don't, didn't understand the video, man. I was trying to eat a sub in Gin. Trinity? Oh, you know what I want? I want to intensify pinpoint buffs again, like reversions on that, but I think that's like way too niche. We'll never you, do that. you didn't put the number one thing. Fix fucking mana. Mana is the biggest piece of shit in the world right now. Like nothing works. You can't even like play any game without any build without EB. It was the this one is kind of like in relation to that. I don't know though. Like they they did the Archmage buffs, right? That was part of their solution there. And then like like my last build was life tapping everything. I don't know. Some spells are kind of bricked. Like, a lot of the Trickster builds do the thing with, like, Dreamer, the Mastery, and, like, the Molten Faith, because yeah. like, when you look at a spell that costs 124 mana, and that you're casting it 8 in a second, it's like, you can't really, like, fix that. Yep. Without making it free. Still Which also is why I, I hate Archmage. I feel like mana recovery is just too hard to come by. If you're not an instant leech mana forge attack based build. I said they should remove mana regeneration on rings and amulets and make mana flat mana regeneration according to life regeneration on those slots then at least you have some way of getting mana regeneration for those builds because mana regeneration is like the most worthless slot when you don't have like mana investment the, and the most builds the don't base have value that. like the yeah. base value is like 0.75 percent per second or something it's such a small number and i think the only way to modify the base is like Cloak, right? Yeah, it gives the one percent. Oh, I mean Hierophant. Does Hierophant have percent? I think it's point five like percent. Yeah. You used to oh, have like... yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Elementalist one percent. True. Yeah, there's a lot of yeah, like but... random small. Necromancer ones, but... has it. Necromancer has like two percent or something, right? It's actually a lot. It's not on gear though. It's always on cringe sources. I feel like the like mana region base should just like be a mod you can only gear like flat yeah it should it you should just it. be a flat mod, betrayal. right you get regen four mana per second from betrayal dude it's sick yeah but that <laughs> number needs to be like 70. yeah what about what you guys think about the the wrath watchers eye like back when you used to have mana leech like for spells was that like actually bad because i was like kind of spaced out at the time yeah but they're not giving that Back to you though. I don't no way. Back. I remember when they first put jewels in the game, they had spell leech as mana as a mod on jewels, and that just obviously didn't make it to the game because it just invalidated like mana. Mm. Oh man, I'm getting the yep. flashbacks now, dude. Like fucking back when we used to play spell casting berserker and shit. Like, or like yeah, warlord's mark for leech. I forgot. I don't know that that was healthier than what we have now though. No, right now what we have is not healthy. What? But do you think that stuff was healthy? Like fucking Warlord's Mark Leech for sustain? I mean, it's better than... I mean, at least you can play, like, builds. Right now, you can't, like, half the builds that you need, you can't even fix mana for. It's crazy. Unless you I'm... just play EB. Dude, dude, here. This is the angle, dude. This is my... Arcanist brand, Archmage... Saboteur. This is my mana solution. I've just managed to click every single source of reduced mana on the entire tree and run yeah, inspiration. That's, that's, that's that, or you just play EB. That's your only two choices right now. What, what if you're not everything. left side tree? What, life tap? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me just life tap 2,000 life a second. I mean, I you play fucking forbidden right here. And like what players want and what they want like like solving mana is so dog shit and it doesn't ever feel good to invest in solve it it's like you always want it to just be like super low effort as a player but they want it to kind of matter that 
my solution is good. If you if you have to roll it on your rings and amulets, right? As a like a like a like a decent mod. Yeah. I'm okay with losing three mods on my gear. I don't want to use EB on every single build. Yeah, it's definitely a problem with, with like the, the rolling of it. Like like one T one mana regen roll takes you from like twenty two base mana regen to like like the twenty nine, and it's like it's not, not even close to this five hundred percent that you need if you want to yeah. actually sustain with mana. What if they just fucking buffed in Jerry Mataflas again? No. That's what <laughs> used to be nice. <laughs> Bro, yeah, they should they, they should have you develop PLE two, dude. You'd be perfect. Yeah, for that game. I still haven't shown my footage, dude. It's a uh... really. I just like, didn't upload it because I got back and then I was uh, immediately. How do I put this? C catching up on social engagements, you know. So then I. Compatible. Uh... Okay, I, like I think it seems really hard. Oh my god, understandable. No, it's not. I guess you're pretty social. I guess you're very social. I want to... I want to fix the the Uber. I don't like the Uber disable recovery thing. I was thinking about that a lot recently. I get why it's there, so you can't have like truly invincible builds and stuff. You have to like do mechanics, but... I don't think I like it. Like, especially with like... You know, like fucking the visual clarity and stuff. You're like walking through Awakener, and sometimes your flashes don't work because you like touch the tip of like a black dot on the ground. Yeah, I, I think the way it used to work for Awakener was probably better, where like it just disables recovery over time, but instant still works. I feel like that that, that felt better to, to play. As like a blast spammer. Then they, they, they yeah, still like also, to nerf that shit though, right? Yeah, it, it was kind of OP though. It's like if you had enough flasks, you actually just could never die to it yeah. and like that wasn't good i don't know i think only a few people actually feel that way though like that you could never die to it i remember when you start talking about it at the start like because even when in like 1819 i didn't realize how much you guys would piano your life flasks on bosses and i didn't really understand it to be honest like it's simple enough you just press the fucking button and you heal but i think very few people yeah. actually do that effectively I think that was like, like the 318 gauntlet where like I spent like three minutes just in Exarch grates the entire time and I never left them. And it's like, oh, I'm just, just keep on <laughs> chilling. Do you have an entrench? Just staying off that? Yeah. It, it's entrench and the nodes by, uh, I think by, by a buff ranger as well. It, it was, it was cursed. Oh, you took those nodes? Like, like, uh, the, the, like, three yeah, it, it was like the seconds. last, last one hour in gauntlet. I just died on the witch and I took random gear out, out of my stash on, on a champion and went to Exer. I do not remember one one eight was one eight was the TD gauntlet, right? No, it was seismic, I think. What eight? Was, oh, okay. It was, it was the one where Gucci was seismic started and seismic. Me and XL doing everything in that one. Oh, okay, okay. And then um what's his face? SSS one Templar on explosive trap, right? Okay, I remember now. Yeah. That's just crazy. Oh, these last two slots, dude, I can't fucking do it. I'm gonna look again. Inspo. I think Here, I'll I leave think... you what I, what I put on my card. Okay, okay. The remove normal bosses probably should get deleted. That 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 one, no one's gonna agree with that. I'm I'm keeping that there. That's <laughs> the, my number one favorite one, dude. <laughs> Whoa, what are these, dude? I think I think they're pretty good. That wants to nerf melee? What the fuck? No, I want no, I want the, melee. the flat reduced and the attack speed base increase so you're more agile when you're playing melee. So it Bruce feels better. nerf melee. Plus only. That's a buff! <laughs> That's literally a buff. Do you remember when you play like Molten Strike at level 1? It's like the most unplayable shit in the world, dude. Wait, you want Hinakoras to be buffed? Are you out of your mind? Yeah. Wait, these what, things are actually insane. What? what what does this even mean? Multi totem support drops all support totems. That's the I want most multi totem absurd. support to drop all your totems at once. Yeah. So you don't have to press three fucking two different totems. It's the worst. Just fucking remove the buffs, bro. They're stupid, man. No one wants that shit. Then you would have to buff every single melee skill. That's so much work. They could just have an innate buff. You know, like, dual wield has, like, the innate, you know, 15% more attack speed and stuff. 
Maybe like when you're using a melee weapon, you just have like 20% more damage. Magic find deletion. Dude, you're that's good. Best I don't know if disagree, ever but like magic find. I think it's the right thing. That's never gonna happen, man. Merc lab buff to oh okay. I don't know what you meant. I was like, why do you want a Zara to be twice as strong? You need to work on your writing skills, man. Oh hey, Merc Lab needs a buff because they put all these gems in and then people don't want to run Merc Lab for like eight hours to get their gem. Yeah, it's based. It's only gonna get worse as they have more gems too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, right? I like that one. You need a you need a pre buff. Wow, she's stealing Merc Lab buffs. I'm taking that one. He's stealing the one. Merc Lab buffs. Oh no. Join? Mine now. But nothing else. Everything, everything else is better. Well, DD nerf is uh do, wait, do you want you only DD chain reaction? Yeah. Excuse yeah. me? He's out oh of his goddamn God. mind. He's an idiot. I I'm okay with I'm okay with DD, dude. I'm okay with it. I don't think it's really that bad. Like, after like three days in SE trade, no one plays DD because that shit is freaking a pain in the ass to play and it doesn't scale for shit. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm okay that's with fair. it. You know, the, the game like, is more if you dog out it. The, the fir the, you know, the first three days of a league do matter, right? You know? Yeah. It, yeah and it's not like, it's not like you can't play a, a, another build and not be successful if you're not playing DD. Especially in SC Trade, you have so many choices. In SC Trade, you can log on with fucking hit base bear trap and clear the game. That doesn't matter, man. That's not a good metric for it, you know? It's just like, would you feel bad about playing something that's half as strong or one third as strong, right? It's like, you can say comparisons to Thief of Joy and say that derisively, but you can also accept that, hey, you know, maybe it's okay to balance things, you know? I don't know. Is it so bad to just want to balance balanced. things? Holy shit! What? I think it's balanced. Yep. Triggering DD is not balanced. Like, oh, remove weeks. Arcanist Brand from freaking triggering Desecrate and uh, DD from Arcanist Brand and remove it from the trigger from, like, cast on crit and all of that, and it's perfectly fine. Those are the only two things that are broken. How many more times does a random average PoE player need to clear the entire game on only blue gear? Like, an average PoE player, you know, just they keep on doing it. I don't understand. I think that's unacceptable. Who, who who's average? Who cleared? I mean, what? I've only really watched Ben, but so that's my frame of reference. But like, oh okay. shit, you can click it. Ben, Lad, do, you, do you think if you removed Desecrate from Ar Arcanist Brand, like DD is still that broken? I think it's just stronger. I don't think it's broken. I I'm confused. I mean, for for chain reaction. Yeah. For chain reaction. Uh it's it's still broken now with with Argon's brand. Without it, it's still broken? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yo, the, oh. the weirdest thing about that, I don't know if how widespread known this is, your ping has a huge impact on your DPS when you're playing Argonus brand. That's great. No shit. Like going from bro. twenty to forty was like fucking not half damage, but it was like it was a huge damage level. You know, if you're playing chain reaction, yeah, you can you didn't bypass have it, that, right? If you had that cast by hand all your desecrates and dds your damage is not really that high it's still it's higher pretty than high. pretty much every other skill in the game on the same gear level yeah for like three days right and then a lot of the other on skills the same gear level. Take it. predictive doesn't work because of like corpse, i'm not like, really sure i haven't tried corpses. if you but just like, play like, runebinder dude the the ping thing doesn't matter like you play like no cascade runebinder it, it comps it i haven't tried that like the one time I tried the Reminder, it, I was doing wheelless damage, but I had Cascade still on, so maybe that's that was why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you take Cascade Reminder, your damage is just like zero because it completely desyncs. So then, because it has the animation time on Desecrate, right? I think we all know why, but like, I think there's ways to comp for it, but we shouldn't have to, man. Fucking two bun builds are like a really bad place. If GGG okay. nerfs DD, they're gonna lose like a hundred grand next month or next league on MTX sales. Bro, you're trying to like... give free fragment tabs. You can't appeal to the fucking <laughs> financial situation. Yo, what the fuck? Free fragment tabs? Free fragment tabs, Ben, is like, think about it. In the like, like the eighties, the crack dealers gave out free crack, right? Like to to like to get people hooked. First, they need a hook, get them hooked 
onto the convenience of PLE with a free fragment tab like crack. And then people will buy the other tabs because they're like, this is so convenient. Dude, crack cocaine is like not currency. a gateway drug, dude. It's like yeah, the end of the is. line, bro. PLE is a gateway drug. Dude. You need it. Like <laughs> a lot of people who quit PLE, right? Quit in like the early acts. The Once you get up is a on the game, drug, then you're like hooked, right? How do you need a private tab in the early yeah. acts? Also, what, you just, what if that's just you just give all the baseline tab? You just got currency, fragment, map tab. You know, just do it like that. You, you might as well just fucking everything ask out for that. free. I'm not about that, but I'm saying fragments kind of nest. Can, can you open up the game and show people the fragment tab and how many things that thing stores? Just open up the game. You should you should really show people and tell me tell me people who do not have this should suffer. I don't know about this. Yes, dude. I agree. <laughs> Rue, aren't you? Wait, wait, Rue, where are you from? What do you mean, where am I from? You're from America, right? And you think poor I'm shouldn't suffer? America. What the hell? <laughs> Fucking socialist, dude. He's not from America, dude. He's I'm one of my people. I'm a good businessman, right? In order for pe you need a, in order people to for people to enjoy PLE, they have to be able to enjoy the game. Making people suffer doesn't give you doesn't bring people into the game. I think Grinding Gear Games has always argued the opposite, dude. They always said the opposite. It's like, oh, we want only the people who are like really like you know proper CBT to play our game, and then they'll be addicted forever, right? They won't want people to play that can give them money. If you gotta have a free private head to play, you're probably not gonna buy anything else anyways. So fuck. Off. If if that was their logic, would it like? If they want money, why don't they just make the game prettier, dude? I'm just saying, like. If, yeah, if PoE looked like girls, Genshin right? Impact, dude, yeah, that's not, dude, you know what I'm talking about, man. Holy shit. I would, dude. 5%. Pink, pink teddy bears everywhere, bro. Is that, is that like codename for something, dude? Are you into bears? No, I'm just saying. The game needs to be pretty, dude. Have yep. some, like, shining armor that's like, I'm an angel. I will say that every girl I've ever talked to about Path of Exile has told me the game is too ugly for them to play. Other than the girls who already play. They're like, oh yeah, like, what do you do? What do you, you know, what do you play? Like, what do you do for your time? I'm like, oh, I just play this game. It's super fun. And they look at it. It's like, this is disgusting. Like, it is, like, physically disgusting. Things are vile. You know? I think if they want to improve, like, their female player base, they just can make it really pretty. But that's not happening 3.25. <laughs> Wait, the last girl I, I talked to that plays Path of Exile, she says, my boyfriend just cheated on me. And Path of Exile makes me feel a little bit better. That's what she said, word for word. <laughs> Thanks, Fred. Thanks for a sharing, bit dude. What the fuck? What even is that, dude? Okay. Give me the last one. Last one, dude. Are you exposing your own Twitch chatters, dude? Is that what's going on? Yeah. I'm going to pull from the realistic bingo board and you like one of these. If we're going to nerf one ascendancy, what would it be? That is the dumbest bingo board I've ever seen. It's, it's a meme, dude. It's a, it's a meme board. It's just nerfs plus random word. But but I think the ascendancy balance is bad right now, right? I don't know if we need to buff fucking assassin, but... If we're to nerf one ascendancy, what would you guys take? Hierophant. The fuck? Like for mana forts? Yeah, and, and all this mana crap. Like Archmage, Archmage, Archmage isn't that strong. It's like just, this is good. What do you mean it's not that strong? It's pretty fucking strong. I think DD Chain Necro is like twice as strong. They... And Cock DD and Quiz is also as like stronger. And Cock DD period is just stronger. Yeah, but but cock DD is like a build that relied on like freaking like twenty different mechanics to get it working. Dude, your build's not that complicated, man. Chill. <laughs> and Sorry, I just want to be rude. Just like, let me go stack some mana on my gear and cast some spells. It's a little different. Yeah. They gotta press two buttons though, man. They gotta play. One ice is like though, PoE ingenuity, and the other one is just like I put some mana on my gear. Holy shit, dude! Do you have ribs, man? Do you? You're sucking yourself off so much, man. Holy shit. I'm just saying. 
it is. No, Never mind. Okay, right. you know what? No, no, I, I think you're right. right. I think Archmage is definitely Manus. Where's Ben? <laughs> ben, help. I. Uh, pain. Pain. Okay. Slam. I, I kind of like Hyrule Nerf. I, I think the Manus stuff is like really strong. I think you're right. But I think like I don't know the yeah. progression of it that well yet. So then it feels like weak to me because. Like, I think everyone who plays the mana bills are slow players, right? So then I've never seen them do well. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, do you guys hey, remember wait. when Cold Out was strong? And then we didn't know Cold Out was strong because the people that were playing Cold Out were really, like, bad at Path of Exile. So then we couldn't tell the Cold so Out was plus good. one week? <laughs> what? No, I, I was just, I'm, I'm a POE historian, dude. And you're fucking <laughs> prosecuting me if for you're this? toxic. <laughs> but also Cold Out was never good. It's all right. It was like a top twenty. I thought it was probably. okay. Yeah, it's mid. Yeah, I don't nerfs. think it was a bad build for leak start. It was like okay. I can't put the word nerf on there. Actually, it's too many. Bone Shadow was better than Cold Out then too, and has still hasn't been nerfed, man. It's crazy. Okay, I got I got last one. Mini and nerfs. I'm tired of this thing. Fuck the fuck main players. This is my last one. I think every single league they bitch and moan. They bitch and moan every single league, like, oh, minions are so weak. And every single league, minions are, like, OP. There's, like, some crazy OP Spectre. Fucking animate weapon is, like, overtune as shit. Blink Arrow Miro, overtuned every single time. SRS gets nerfed, still OP. Like, I don't know. And there's always bugs. There's always some bug Spectre shit. Every single fucking league. So, they're just removed from the game. Do we lose anything? Ooh, look, right now, Spectres are viable. Uh, animate weapon is viable. Holy Relic is viable. Like, there's like uh, spiders are viable. They have like so many viable builds within minions, and I don't know why they're even crying. Because like uh, you're misunderstanding what they want. Like, if if the skill isn't top tier, then it's bad. Like that that's just how mi mi like minion players see their skill. Yeah, but all their builds are like I put some cluster. I put a twelve minion cluster on my build, and then freaking go near Gazzy's helm. Like, their, their builds are not created. Like, if you want a good build, you have to make it. You can't just fucking mirror a helmet and put some 12 passive clusters on every single build and expect it to be fucking good.